So the lady and I are heading to Penn State this weekend. It's my first time going back to Penn State for probably like 10 or 12 years, something like that. She's never been to Penn State, so she has no idea what she's in store for. And it's also Big Ten weekend for track and field, and it's being hosted at Penn State. So we have tickets to the events, but hopefully Sunday will be nice and we'll get some footage from the from the um, track meet and then we'll also show you like my old track stadium and the big Penn State football stadium and then like we'll go downtown, we'll go out. I'm meeting up with some of my old uh, track buddies. Goose is gonna be there, Ben Cars, and I'm sure a bunch of other people. So it's gonna be a freaking fun weekend and we'll try to take you guys along for the ride, so stay tuned. So my dad was actually telling me about this place. It's on the way up to State College, Pennsylvania. So the number one cycle center for Harley Davidson. But uh, let's go in and check it out. Let's take a look. Oh, they have bikes like hanging up. Old Harleys. That's really cool. Wow. Hello. Good. How are you? Check out the colors of that bad boy. White and light blue. I actually really love that color combination. I don't even know what this is. Let's see. A soft tail deluxe. Woo! I think it's cool, man. I'm still a huge fan of this guy right here. The Army Edition. I would totally rock one of these. Look at that thing, dude. Soft tail slim S. Teens, what do you think of that? Do you like these? That's messed up. <laughs> every Harley dealer and every Harley uh, fan in the country now hates you. <laughs> so they actually have some old Indians and Harleys, mainly Indian or mainly Harleys, but that's an old Indian, which is pretty cool. You can see the old Harleys. That is so cool. They said they found this in like a garage or in a shed somewhere. Old Harley. That is so freaking cool. And they have like an old Harley section here. Just all the older Harleys. I definitely want to own a Harley at some point. Look at these. That is so freaking sweet looking. It's cool too because they're using iterations of all these old engines, you know. Look at that. Something about an old bike, man. So if you guys are interested in old bikes, definitely come down to the shop and check these out. There's another old Harley. Look how freaking cool that is. I wish I knew more about these for you guys, but this is this is out of my league. I just think they're gorgeous. Come here, check this out. Look at this. Indian, so that was the oldest US manufacturer of motorcycles. They started before Harley. So these two right here are the two oldest, Harley and Indian are two of the oldest motorcycle manufacturers in the in the US. I think these are I think this is a suicide clutch or, or something. Yeah, look, that's the clutch. See that? How freaking cool is <laughs> Do you that? See the seat? Look yeah. at the strings it's on. It's freaking amazing, dude. Wow. Did you guys see me on a 48? Harley 48? Well, that was actually really cool. Um, I found out the name, the number one Harley dealership, or the number one whatever dealership, is just the name. It has nothing to do with anything else. So, <laughs> fun fact there. Um, Brian, the guy I was just t I was just chatting with a guy Brian in there for like <laughs> half an hour about motorcycles and hot rods and guitar and everything else. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, now we're heading on to State College. I couldn't get out of the motorcycle dealer. Christina was like, can we please go? <laughs> Those uh, freaking V-Rods, man. They're freaking cool bikes. I couldn't believe all the old vintage bikes they had in there, man. I want to freaking ride some of those. Check that out. That's Beaver Stadium right there. The second largest football stadium in the country behind Michigan. This one is, I think, 110,000 seats. Try to get a better view. Look how ridiculous that stadium is. We used to run this entire stadium as our track workout. It took like half an hour to run around that thing. Yeah, it's absurd. So that's Beaver Stadium there. Here's the Bryce Jordan Center, which is our basketball stadium. This is Horish Ashenfelter indoor track. That's our big indoor track and then our outdoor tracks right over there. So everything's kind of like, this is the big athletic complex right here. So there it is, there's the old Penn State track brings back some good memories. I was just telling Christina I used to just drive my motorcycle right up here and park it for practice. My coach would get pissed at us. 
This brings back memories right here, guys. I spent four years of my life doing this exact walk right here to the locker rooms. Hopefully this is unlocked. This is the indoor track right here. The world-class indoor facility. This thing is hydraulic, so it actually raises and lowers. So this is where everyone's going to be warming up and stuff like that. So freaking sick, guys. So much time spent in here. Uh, way up there is the weight room. Oh man, this is crazy. So cool. What do you think of this, teens? It's really cool. It's freaking badass, right? Yeah. So many hours spent training in here, it's crazy. I want to show you, let's go upstairs, I want to show you some stuff. Check it out, here's all their Big Ten conference trophies. Look how cool those are. They have a bunch of them. Check out these uh, Penn Relays Championship of America plaques. Isn't that so cool? Teens, come here and stand here so they can get an idea of how big those are. Look at that. It's crazy. Shayna, shout out to Shayna. She was on my team with me. Uh, I think I was a senior when she was a freshman. I can't remember. And then Dominique Blake, she was on the team along with uh, Gail and Shayna. Dominique runs for Jamaica now. Shout out to Dom. Here's some of the track and field men's indoor record holders. Ryan Olkowski, that's Goose. I'm gonna hang out with him. He ran a 20.9 indoors. Uh, Brady Garrett, 40, 46.22 in the 400, legit. Um, Guy Rose, he was one of my good friends. 2001, he ran a 769 in the 600 hur or the 60 hurdles. That's crazy. The records are insane, dude. We used to have the 4x4 indoor record until uh, these guys came along and just absolutely destroyed it. I think we ran like a 307 or 309, I can't remember. Um, I also used to have the DMR record until they came along and destroyed that as well. Awesome. So yeah, they beat all of our records, but like, look how legit these records are. 100, 10.1 by Mike Sands, or Mike Sands. 200 meter, 20.2. I wasn't on for individual events, no. but I was for relays. Because look how old those records are. At one point, we had the um, the 4x2 relay. We had that one. We had the, I don't know if we ever got the 4x4 outdoors, but we had the DMR as well. These have all been replaced now. Aww. Yeah. So now I'm not even on here anymore. But my boy Guy Rose is. Yeah, Guy Rose, 13.5 in the hurdles. So check it out. This is what the track looks like from up above. This is such an amazing facility, dude. I used to love it. And then they got that big, like, 50, uh, 50 meter area of warm ups. I used to love running here, man. Can you imagine practicing here, teens? Very nice. Isn't it crazy? And we have a weight room right up there, too, that's like a loft that overlooks the whole area. It's freaking badass, dude. It's one thing that's really cool about Big Tens is, like, it's a really legit. Um, division and so like the people who are here um, they're like some of the best athletes in the world and like these people who win big tens like when I won big tens in the 400 hurdles I was one of the top ranked hurdlers in the world and like a lot of these people like will go to the Olympics um, the people who win these events so it's pretty freaking cool man like a lot of the, my teammates compete in the Olympic trials um, and a lot of my friends are, are still competing and going to the Olympics and stuff like that so it's pretty cool like to be around people like this and just good vibes man there he is the legend coach Harry Groves he is the man dude I remember the one time when I asked him what I needed to do in the 400 hurdles to improve my times he said pull your head out of your ass and run faster <laughs> oh Harry we have arrived at our hotel cool little table here this is an old school hotel not too bad nice little uh Bathroom, big room, king bed, which is all where all the magic happens. <laughs> where all the magic won't be happening. Little flat screen, little table, do some work, and a nice beautiful view of State College. So, the lady and I ended up at the corner room. She got the biggest pizza in Thank history you. that is supposedly a small, look at that thing compared to her. I'm definitely going to eat some of that. Um, I ended up with an open-faced sandwich with chicken and gravy and mashed potatoes. Oh my god, it looks so good. I'm drinking a Yingling lager. She's having a Long Island iced tea and Bon Appetit. 
Pops. Christina had to order dessert because that's what she lives off of. Dessert. She got an Oreo milkshake that looks so 1970s. Doesn't it? Look at that angle. Oh my god, that's amazing. Is it good? So good. Alright guys, it's Saturday morning. Uh, we got up at like 11 o'clock because that's how we roll. Um, we went to the waffle shop, but the line was literally out the door. It's probably like an hour wait, so um, we're gonna cruise by a motorcycle shop, but um, I wanted to show Christina where I lived in college, so I'll show you guys too. It's coming up right up here. So that's it right there, guys. 547 Copper Beach. Some crazy shit went down right there. We used to park all of our motorcycles right here. Um, I had a Suzuki SV650S. Uh, my buddy Goose, who I'm gonna meet up with later, he had a Ninja 500, I think, R. And then my other buddy Walker had a CBR 600 RR. And we were freaking badasses, man. That's where it all started. Craziness. So we are here at Kissel Motorsports. Let's go in and see what they have. Are you excited? <laughs> I like when you walk into brand new badass bikes. S1000 double R, Scrambler, or some sort of RT, R9T. R9T Sport, I guess? That looks pretty cool. I like it with the windscreen up here. It's nice. S1000 single R. Nice. Some GSs. Those are nice bikes. Check this out, they've got a Ural with a side cart. So my mom can ride the bike and Sadie can sit in the side cart. She's gonna laugh so hard when she sees this. That's pretty badass actually. Check this out guys. 2014 BMW S1000 RR and that Lupin racing uh, paint scheme. It's only 13,000. It's actually a really good price because it only has 2,000 miles on it. That is beautiful. I like that paint scheme. Can't go wrong with that puppy. BMW S1000 single R, the one I just rode the other the other day. Obviously not the same one, but um, that's a cool paint scheme. Some sort of metallic blue, dark blue. It's a 2014 and it's only $7,800. That's insane, dude. $7,800 for a 2014 S1000 single R. That's really cool. Check it out, they have one of those zero, zero bikes. It stands for zero emissions. It's an electric motorcycle right there. That's pretty cool. There's no clutch, you just twist the throttle and go on that bad boy. They got a nice speed triple over here. 2016 speed triple with uh, ABS, the speed triple S in red. I actually really like this uh, Harley 48. They put a nice seat on it and some nice uh, handle grips. It's a cool little bike right there. This is the S1000 single R in black. This is very similar to the one I just took out the other day. They're running a huge sale on it right now. Uh, it was 15.8. Now it's 11.99. That's pretty amazing. I'll put the description to the shop in the link. <clears throat> the link to the description in the <laughs> in the description below if you guys want to check it out. It's a pretty cool shop. Back at the waffle shop. Looks yeah. looks like it's much better this time. The legendary waffle yeah. shop. <laughs> yes, much 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 better. Not much of a crowd, huh? Not this time. No. Breakfast has arrived. The lady got a fruit cup with some amazing looking french toast and the saddest egg ever. Uh, I went with two pieces of that big fluffy french toast, two eggs over medium, and some bacon, and a glass of milk. Christina, what do you think of the Nittany Lion? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Pretty badass. Oh, bunny! Look at the bunny! That's a big ass bunny. That's a big bunny. Here is Paterno Library. Huge beautiful library that I can honestly say I never spent one time one day in because there's a thing called the internet and who buys books these days so the lady or I and I are out running just running around campus just showing her through the campus look how cool this is with the big halls the Museum of Art very cool man I love college campuses so picturesque picturesque no one on campus anywhere except at the Penn State Creamery. And Christina's so excited, look at her. <laughs> I was like, Penn State makes their own ice cream. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> um, so Penn State makes their own ice cream. Um, uh, J Camp Fit, 
Or Jared Campisi, either or. So this is basically central, central campus. This is the hub. And this is where we always used to meet up with our friends. Christina doesn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> There's all the schools of the Big Ten, which is now the Big 12. Well, yeah, I think there's 12 schools now. But yeah, look how pretty this is in here. There's like big food commons downstairs and everything. So they actually have a real, um, this is like a real seawater aquarium, which is pretty cool. It's a the, whole entire, cast. the entire cast from uh, Finding Nemo is in here. <laughs> look at them. I always love the view when you came out this side. It opens up. Look at that. Hang out down back here with some squirrels. I told you. They're freaking everywhere on this campus. Look at these idiots. <laughs> they don't give they don't give a shit at all. I wish I had food for them. Look at this guy, he's like break dancing. <laughs> I think he just peed. What are they doing? He thinks I have food when I don't. He's coming to check. Look at that background right there. That's beautiful. I'm so beautiful. <laughs> so, oh, we've got to jog back to the room, jump in the shower quick, and then we're going to head down to the track meet to catch well, the first, 400s. What are we doing first? Going to the creamery? To the creamery. <laughs> it, that's why all of a sudden we're in a rush, because Christina wants to go back to the creamery and get ice cream <laughs> when it's freezing cold outside. She'll stop at no... He said it's the best ice cream you'll ever have, so i got to try it. It is really good. So. We'll find out. We'll see what she thinks. <laughs> okay. I just realized I had to stop and show you guys Old Main. I believe that was the original campus when Penn State opened back in like 1850 or something. That was the original building. The entire campus of Penn State was right there. And they got the flagpoles and this big lawn. That's pretty freaking cool right there. It's like a piece of history. This little shop right here, guys, right there. That's where I bought my first motorcycle. Boom. Yeah. The Suzuki SV650S was purchased right there 15 or 17. Slight ride on 15 years ago? Street. Then your destination will be on the left. so much for watching uh, we really had a good time what did you think of Penn State overall it was nice it was pretty pretty campus very cold. yeah it was super windy it, we got pretty beat up out there my eyes are like bloodshot um, but yeah man it was fun to watch freaking 100 meter time 10.05 the winning time and the 200 time 1987 those are like Olympic caliber times so that's pretty awesome to see stuff like that in like a windy day windy chilly day at Penn State pretty cool man so yeah and we saw some really cool Harleys old school Harleys those are really cool so yeah overall it was a good trip and we have some amazing stuff coming up this week so I hope you guys are excited make sure you hit that subscribe button um, Christina's link to her channel will always be in the description so be sure to subscribe to her as well and stay tuned guys. I'm super, super excited. So we'll see you in the next one.